Hello, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here with a uh, Ribbon case. Uh, we have teeth numbers 8 and 9, which were uh, labially bonded with labial composite veneers. We've got to do a little repair on number 8, but the main thing is um, we're going to be working on the lingual aspect because number 9 has some bone loss to it, and uh, we want to prevent it from, from being traumatized. So we made some adjustments to her partial that she wears. And um, by doing that, we took a little less pressure and we put less pressure off of uh, tooth number nine itself. So right now we're going to go ahead and prep. Excuse me, please. Excuse me, please. Okay. Yeah, just excuse me. We're going to prep um, tooth number eight and nine lingual. We're gonna basically, all we're going to do is just place a small little trough in between, about two millimeters in diameter. We're going to use a 330 burr. We're going to put it right in the contact area, right above, so it goes in there without... Uh, just leave it in there nice inconspicuously. Uh, no need to numb her unless she feels like she needs it. So similar to orthodontics. And we're going to select the same shade. Uh, go about oh, four millimeters width on each tooth, so you're going to figure about 8 millimeters in length. And go ahead and rinse that thoroughly. I'm going to take a periodontal probe and I'm going to just measure that across. This one is segmented. So we're right about uh, 5 millimeters, so we're going to go a little bit longer. The piece that I already cut out is measuring about uh, 5, 6, 7, 8 almost nine millimeters, so go a little further than that. And uh, and then like I said, we're gonna fill in the interprox a little bit up in here. Use the same color as we used in the past. I'll try to increase the magnification. Uh, we are cut, uh, prepping right into Denton. So I'm going to turn my water spray on. And we'll measure across again. That's uh, about six. I'll go a little further. Now I'm going to clean in between her teeth. I'll use a fine diamond for that. And then we'll follow that with a scaler. I said before we have this little area number eight also I have to clean that and now a scaler and I'm just hand scaling Just go ahead and dry that off. And we'll 
clean off some of that stain that she might have on the facial surface. Good job rinsing that again. Looks uh, like it's a little bit more. All right. Uh, some more on the lingual. Okay, we rinse the lingual thoroughly and then dry. And we're going to use a uh, some phosphoric acid. Uh, so I'm going to need a micro brush, and we'll use that as well. I'm going to go ahead and use a cotton roll and some more of that syringe again. Uh, one more cotton roll. And uh, we'll take the syringe again. Also going to use silane. Let's cover that again. Now this case has been working. Uh, I think we're on t either two or three years with the veneers and composite. We went from, uh, I believe, the second bicuspid. So you got four, five, six. These two are ponics or, uh, or denture ponics. And we changed the color of these two, eight, nine, 11, and 12. I believe we ended at 12. We're ready to rinse that thoroughly. And we'll just remove the cotton rolls. We'll put in two new cotton rolls. And we'll lower our light. Everything from here out is so photosensitive. So again, we're going to go ahead with this. Okay, we're going to go ahead with our uh, silane. and apply that. And that's just going to take care of that composite, getting it bonded. That's our bonding enhancer for composite. I also use it with porcelain. And let it dry. I usually go about a minute or so and let it dry, air dry. Now, So now we're going to add our bonding agent, and this is from 3M, Universal Bond. And 
just keep covering. Put it everywhere you want to bond. Okay. Thin it down. I think it's important to thin it down. We don't need it too much of a thickness. I like to get it all thinned down. Now the question is do you want to bond it first and get that all sealed. Now I've got to mesh it together so I'm going to bond it but I'm going to bond it with everything else put in there. So I'm going to lower my light which is my microscope light. I'm going to measure the length again. I'm going to copy the length onto my rib bond. So we're about almost seven millimeters. So I'm going to remeasure my rib bond material and measure about seven millimeters off of that. So this is a little too long. So we're going to take off about two to three millimeters. So I'm going to take my shears and we'll just cut off about that much. Remeasure it. And it's about seven right there. Seven millimeters. Recheck it in the mouth. That was about that's about seven, so we're about six. So I'm gonna take another millimeter off. Okay. I got a good clean cut on that. We'll measure it again. That's right. Okay, we're going to put that in our unfilled resin and let it soak in there until we're ready to use it. Okay, now we're ready to put in our composite. So we're going to put a small layer in first, right in the middle, and then we'll embed our, our body. So this is really a simple, quick, and easy procedure such low maintenance and such high value for the patient. So I'm going to push this so it's on the end. I take it, put it right in here. There we go. And just push that in place. Now we're not going to worry about any of this fill-in yet. We just want to get it bonded in there. So I need just a little bit more material. Pick it up off the pad. Okay, so we're going to take just a small amount of that. And we'll cut that in like one-third of that. That's all I need. And the object is to embed it, so you don't want to put too much composite down first. You want to just, that's about all you need. Now, you pick up, that's the tricky part. So we want to get this transferred. You can see it's got a lot of material. All right, so I'm going to take it, I'm going to wipe it, okay, and use an explorer. And you can 
just literally just pick it up with an explorer like that. Okay, bring it over. And the whole idea is to push it in place. And then go ahead and tuck it in there. So that's going to that's going to act as the framework. Uh, you want to condense that in place so you get all the ends inside of that condensed. So we'll use a condenser. This is difficult to do the first time. You can do it on a model, you know. Just take a type of dot and do it direct. Just practice dimensions, technique. There we go. All right. You get the idea, so just make sure it's all tucked in there nicely. So this will be the first cure. We'll lock everything in. You can see that ribbon going across the uh, the two teeth. So we're going to fill that in. All these embrasures and the dimensions of the tooth can be filled in on either side, so it looks like normal teeth again. So we're strengthening number nine, and we know eight is very strong from a, a bone support. Nine is. Uh, has uh, lost some bones, so we're supporting it. So we're going to add material.